Okay, here we go with part two. I have a trig equation to do. Surprise, surprise. Write it down with me. Cotangent theta, cosine theta, minus four cotangent theta equals minus three cotangent theta. All right. All right, to get this one ready to go, I see like terms. So I want to combine as many of those as possible before I decide what to do next. If I subtract a minus 3 cotangent, I get a minus. I'm sorry, I'm going to add. This is already minus. I'm sorry. Would you add a minus sign in this problem there on the right? I'm going to add a plus three cotangent to both sides, so that will give me a minus cotangent theta over here equals zero. So now I see that I have two terms, and the way that that must be factored is to remove what's common to both terms, and that's what I wanted to remind you of by this example. So they both have a cotangent, so I'm going to pull it out, as I say. When I say pull it out, some people think of it as dividing it out. And whatever way you think of it, whatever you put here has to multiply by cotangent to get back here. So it must be cosine. Some people think I pull out the cotangent, so what's left? The cosine. So over here, we pull out a cotangent. That's all that's there. So we replace it with a 1. So when we multiply, it gets back to where we started. So now we have two factors. That's the reason we factored and set it equal to zero is because of that powerful statement. When you have two things multiplied together that give you zero, either one is or the other is zero or both. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got the two branches cotangent theta, we set each of them equal to zero. And let's see what the unit circle has to say about cotangent. So let me give myself the unit circle. And I'm going to look at my monkey math. One zero, minus one zero, zero one, and 0 minus 1. All right, cotangent is similar to tangent. Tangent is the second divided by the first, but cotangent is the first divided by the second. So be careful, Andrew. Andrew. So you want to make sure that you're not creating a mathematical improbability or impossibility. So when we do this first time divided by the second, that creates 1 over 0. No can do. Zero divided by one, so that's one answer. That's zero. So that happened at pi over two. So here's one. And over here, impossibility, zero, and there's another one down there. So that is pi over, uh, three pi over two. But I can grab it by taking this one and adding pi radians to it. So I go from here, add pi, I grab that one, add pi, I keep going and going. Because I can put in any number for pot for n and get as many spins and answers up to, say, infinity. Number of answers. Over here, let me check this as I go, that's correct. Over here I get cosine of theta equals 1. I think we've met that before, so that's here and no other place. So right here, so that's at zero, and I have to spin that two pi n over and over one circle after another after another, and I don't have to write this zero. So there I have two pi n for theta on this branch. All right, so that's that one. The complication that that one uh, presented is I wanted to make sure you can factor it when it looks like this. You have to remove what's common in both terms, so do it. I don't want any mistakes on those kind. 
that is not worth it. Last one, I'm trying to leave my unit circle up. Notice how I just write the part of the unit circle that I am using. I don't usually fill in the whole thing for because every problem has its own little spot on the unit circle. I recommend that. Last but to not least, cotangent squared of 3x equals 1 third. All right, to investigate this one, the complication is we've tripled in the angle. The angle inside the argument, we call it, has been tripled. So this kind of procedure works if it's a 2x, a 4x, or anything similar to that. So we learned that this 3 cannot be divided out. It has to stay together, at least for a while. So we're going to get rid of the cotangent squared by square rooting both sides. And that gives us cotangent of 3x. I put it in these brackets just to emphasize it has to stay together. And that created the plus or minus when I took the square root. I took the 1 out of the square root because the square root of 1 is 1. Now I prefer to work in tangent, so I'm going to flip this upside down. So 1 over the square root of 3 becomes plus or minus the square root of 3 over 1. Alright, so where does 3x, what will 3x have to equal so that the tangent of it is square root of 3 plus or minus? So I like to check these spots. And so on this one we have uh, what's that? Square root of 3 over 2 over and 1 half up. So if I divide the second by the first, I do not get square root of 3. So I kind of get a sense of these sometimes. 1 half over uh, the square root of 3. Let me draw that a little better. So this 1 half over square root of 3 over 2 up. This divided by that is square root of 3. So we found our spot, and that's at pi over 3. That's where it's plus square root of 3. But over here, we're going to go back 1 half and up square root of 3. It will also give us the square root of 3, second divided by first, down here, and down here. So we can capture these two in one statement by adding pi n. And this one, which is 1 third pi, 2 thirds pi, I can add pi n to capture this one. So now I've got all four in these two statements. But I'm not done. Let me move this one down. 2 thirds. So 3x equals 2 uh, thirds, 2 pi over 3 plus pi n. But now it's the time, now that I've taken the tangent and used the unit circle, this 3x can be divided. It can't be divided when the tangent is still connected to it. But now it's free as a bird and I can divide by 3 and find out what I really want to know, what x equals. So when I divide both of these terms by 3, I get pi over 9 plus pi n over 3. And this one, when I divide both sides by 3, I get x equals 2 pi over 9 plus pi n over 3. All right, so that is our last one. And those combined with the complications we practiced on the board today and the ones tonight and your review sheet with the 10 on it, it gets you super duper ready for the test tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, and you can do me proud. Please study. It makes a big difference. Good night.